Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial where I'm gonna teach you all about roads. Because almost every major game, especially if it's open world and especially if it's in a modern day setting, uses some type of road on their open map. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do just that, uh, to populate your open map with very nice looking roads. Uh, as you can see I took the terrain from the last tutorial and simply applied um, an auto material to it. It's the one I also linked in the description in the last video. Um, so feel free to download it uh, and support the creators of course. It's free by the way. But nonetheless, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into roads. And um, before we can start creating your roads, you first have to import two things. Um, because uh, I put two download links in the description. Um, one download link is for the uh, asphalt texture and the other download link is for the road texture and also the road mesh. Um, so both of these are very important. Um, if we just go to import, um, you see these five you will get with the texture, with the link and uh, these three um, you will get with my download link that I'm gonna put on Google Drive or something. Um, yeah, so you got that too. So if you have these imported, then it will automatically um, create a material for the road mesh uh, and it will call it new road one. So if we go in here, I already changed it, but if you import it, it will look like this. So it will only have the um, specular texture sample. Uh, and what we have to do now is we simply go to the content browser and we take all these textures except for the color texture and you just drag them in here and uh, yeah now you'd simply have to connect them so as you can see this is the roughness we're gonna save this for last uh, I'm gonna explain also why we do that um, but first uh, yeah let's take this ambient occlusion we got our normal map uh, put it in here and uh, we also have our uh, what is this I think this is uh, no, yeah, um, displacement, so we're gonna put that into not world position offset, uh, that's a mistake that I made at the, at the start, but uh, we put it into pixel depth offset, because this will actually like uh, put the single pixels at a different depth and it's really gonna uh, give you what you're looking for. So here's what we have so far. Uh, the only thing that's missing is our roughness texture and that's because Normally, when you plug this in, um, this will make, we're gonna see here in a minute, so this will make the road very glossy, as if it was uh, wet or something, uh, and we don't want that, so we're gonna go ahead and take a multiply node, uh, we're gonna plug this into A, plug this into roughness, and uh, now for B we can um, type something in and uh, we're gonna multiply the roughness by 2 so uh, it's rougher and less glossy and now if it loads um, you can see it looks a little bit more realistic it looks like actual asphalt um, and yeah that's uh, that's really it that's everything we need for the texture uh, so far and we can hit save okay so now we got the main rope material done what we're gonna do next is we're gonna duplicate it two times. Uh, wait, let me, yeah, duplicate once. And we're gonna call the first one New Road Junk for junction. Okay, so we got this. Hold up. We're gonna duplicate this again and we're gonna call it New Road Junk 1 or anything really, it doesn't matter. Um, so what we have to do, we go into the first one and uh, we only have to change this texture so um, uh, so you want to go look for asphalt and you gonna plug the standard asphalt texture uh, in this texture sample and you're gonna hit save okay so now for the last material uh, neuro junk one you're gonna do basically the same thing you're gonna go in here and look for like just line because that's what I called it um, and so now you only have the line on the right, which this will be important for the crossways later on. Uh, you can just use the plain asphalt texture also, um, but 
the lines really make the uh, junction come together a little bit more nicely because then uh, the lines will connect and uh, you'll see, you'll see. So we're just gonna hit save like we did with the last one. All right, so now that we got all of our, um, we got all of our materials ready, we're just gonna go into the new road, open this one, and we're just gonna check if it has the right material, and it has. So that's very good. Uh, if it doesn't, if it's just like um, without textures, you just have to go in and look for your road material. But it has this, so this is very good. So we can close this, um, and we can get into actually creating our first road. Um, and to do that, we will go into landscape mode, and um, we're gonna go to manage, and then you'll have a tab that's called splines. And uh, if you press control and left click, you can create so-called control points. And you can uh, just really like paint the track, not really paint, but you can like draw the track that you want uh, with these control points. And um, what we can do now is we can basically uh, if we uh, select all segments, we can basically tell the program to populate this spline uh, with so-called uh, spline meshes. So like meshes that uh, will appear along the spline. And if we go look for road, we will find a new road. And we're gonna have it here. And uh, as you can see, this does not look right. Um, so we have to change the forward direction. I think in my case it's why? Yeah, right. Very good. Um, yeah, you might have to just uh, try around with this if you don't know what uh, orientation your model has, but in this case it's Y for forward and uh, Z for up. Then we have to change the size. Let me just check what I took for this. I did some testing as you can see. Uh, okay, point the 6. We're gonna go in ahead again. Um, select all segments, you can do this up here, um, and then just put 0.6 to all of these values, um, yeah, and that's it. Um, so now you got the size right, but uh, it's still like, this doesn't look like a very nice road, you got all this grass coming through and stuff like that, uh, you got it, like the ground covering it, uh, and uh, we're gonna tackle this issue and um, it's a lot it's very easy um, so you have here on the left you have the option to deform landscape to splines and we're gonna hit only selected you should always do only selected because otherwise it will uh, make it for every spline it's, it's potentially gonna ruin stuff that you did with the terrain and stuff like that so always put it on only selected and you're gonna click on this so yeah, yeah, as you can see, um, it did something here, but it still didn't quite do what we want. There's still a lot of ground uh, above the road, almost more ground above the road. There's a very easy way to fix this. If we just go to, uh, if we just select one control point and we uh, go to select all connected control points, um, th then we can, we see all the points selected uh, and we're gonna put the mesh vertical offset to 10 so it's gonna be 10 above the ground and as we can see voila it's very different it's a lot better it's a lot better you can actually see the road but we still have the issue with the the plants by the way you won't have this if you don't use an auto material this is just if you use like auto material with foliage but uh, you can just wait hold on yeah right uh, you can just go to a layer that has no plants and draw with this layer and your roads will be clear. We still got a little issue here but yeah, it's not that important. The next thing I want to show you is how you can create crossroads because this is something I struggled with for a lot of time but I found out a way to do this and it's actually a lot easier than many people think so uh, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put this spline right here 
Oh, by the way, if you add new control points, you have to redo the mesh vertical offset. But I'm just gonna leave it at zero for now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the plants here real quick. We have our one control point, and then we're gonna add another one where we want like the other part of the crossroads, just like that, and also we do that. So we want a road to go out here between those two control points. And what we will do is basically have this one selected, hold control and click about here. Oh, by the way, you should probably disable use auto rotate control point because it will mess up your splines and stuff. Uh, but so we've got the first one and we're gonna go from this one to this one. Just like that. And as we can see, we already have kind of the shape of a junction. So we already have that pretty down pretty well. Um, but the textures still look weird because you've got all these lines intersecting and uh, as you can see, it's also not the same level. So what we're gonna do uh, about this problem is we're gonna try to get all the control points at the same Z coordinates, so they're all at the same height. Uh, so I'm just going to type in, let's say, 50. Uh, that's a little, that's a little high. Maybe, maybe it's say 10. Yeah, I think, I think 10 is good. Um, and also here you do 10. And here you do 10 as well. You still got some problems here, which is because we still have to uh, account for the rotation. Put this to zero and put this to zero as well and of course this should be zero too so now you can see these are all the perfect heights all right so uh, now next thing we do is we select all these um, all these control points and we do the mesh vertical offset so we don't have the terrain stuff like that put it to 10 and then we're gonna uh, select these and we're gonna deform the landscape all right what's that no yeah we're gonna we can worry about that later um, but for now we have our crossroads right here and um, what you want to do now is you want to have these intersecting lines, you don't want them. So you will select all these segments and you want to go to material overrides right here. It's right under the mesh. Um, and this will basically assign a new material to just these segments. Um, and if we, if we search for... If we search for... As, no, uh, yeah, right. If we search for a new road... Oops you will see our materials here. So new road junk, new road junk one, and the normal new road. Ignore this, I did this for testing. Um, we're just gonna select new road junk, and you can see, boom. Blends perfectly. So yeah, as you can see, these roads blend very nicely. Actually, let me just, yeah. Yeah. All right, so this already looks very good, um, but there's one thing we can do to make it look even better. All right, so this already looks very nice, but there's one more thing we can do to make it look even better. And that is using our just line texture. So you're gonna go to material overrides and you're gonna look again for junk and you're gonna choose new row junk one. So that's uh, the material with the line. And right now, this is um, at the wrong. This is the wrong uh, side. The line is appearing, but uh, we can just use the x coordinate and we put minus. So this way, we will invert it, and the line is going to be on the other side. And holy shit, this this just looks so good. Um, it blends so nicely. So we're going to do this for all the uh, splines, all the segments we got here. And uh, yeah, we also have to flip this one. So just hit in minus 0.6. And if we go out of landscape mode, 
you can see that we have a very nice junction right here. Yeah, so this already looks very good. Um, there's actually one more trick um, that I want to show you, uh, which is which can be useful when you're connecting different uh, blind network. Because the trick I just showed you, uh, you can only do that if you're working with the same spline network. So here we got this street and we've got these two streets. Uh, so what I did here is uh, I... Um, edit a plane with the same texture that we also used for this crossing just just without the line so I only took like the asphalt texture and uh, I made a plane that is the same height as all these roads um, then I put the crosswalk no not the cr then I put the sidewalk on the side uh, I also did this with, with splines and uh, mega scans asset uh, but if I just put this here like you can barely notice that uh, I've used the plane here like it's very it's a very smooth transition um, and yeah so this is another way to make junctions but uh, in my opinion this is the best way to make the junctions uh, because it's very easy and also very efficient when you have the plane it's it's a very uh, tedious work to get it like exactly the same height as the road uh, and so here you just have to copy some values and uh, it will blend automatically, more or less. And also you get, you don't need a sidewalk to uh, kind of mask the edges because um, you got the edges very nicely done with this line here. Uh, and it really looks like this is just like one piece. It's uh, It comes together very nicely if you ask me. Alright, so that was it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and I hope you learned something. And if you did, feel free to let me know by giving the video a like or sharing the video with friends who also want to know how you can make these very nice roads. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any future videos uh, or any future tutorials. So I hope I will see you in the next video uh, and until then, bye bye, have a good one.